train of the group. She's always full of energy and raring to go, and half the time she's got absolutely no idea what is going on. So there is our our sport girl. Now give us a huge cheer if you're excited for the seal show today. Yay! Yay! The seals. Charlotte's really excited for some seals. You're in the wrong job. These are seal uppers. <laughs> <laughs> got that long in the job description, didn't we? So when it comes to seals and sea lions, they're both members of the pinniped family, which means fin footed. It's the same family as walruses, but there's actually quite a few different species between seals and sea lions that you can look out for. So first of all, if you take a little look, get your glasses on, it's quite a small difference. If you look either side of our sea lion's heads, you'll notice they've got a little external earlobe. They're about the same size as your thumbnail, and they stick out either side of a sea lion's head. So when you look at a sea lion from the front, they look like Shrek. Now this is something that's more unique to a sea lion and not a seal because when it comes to seals they've just got a hole either side of their head covered with a bit of fur they don't have that external part to their ear. Now of course I appreciate that's a tiny difference so unless you've got your glasses on you probably won't really see it. So the biggest difference is the size of their front flippers. So take a look to our girls while we've got sea lions in front of us. You'll notice sea lions have got really large front flippers. They're about the length of an adult arm. They're about eight to nine times the size of your hand. Now, this is very large in comparison to a seal's front flippers, as a seal's front flippers are only about the same size as your hands. That's eight to nine times smaller than our sea lion's front flippers. Now, this means they move really differently on the land and within the water. So, if you take a look to Atlanta right now, you'll notice oh, she's a fantastic sea lion. Those large front flippers mean they can support their body weight. They can put the human on the land. They can jump. They can climb. They are super duper agile animals. They can clamber over the rocks with ease. Now, of course, that's because sea lions have got those magnificent front flippers. Now, when it comes to seals, of course, their front flippers are much, much smaller. So if you haven't got to use your imagination, Sydney is giving you a fantastic impression of how the seal moves along the ground. And so when it comes to seals, they shuffle along on their belly like a giant slug or a caterpillar. And so kind of like more of a shuffling motion and definitely not as speedy as our sea lions on the land. Now, it's not just on the land that seals and sea lions move differently, it's also within the water. So if you've been lucky enough to head out underwater during Thursday, if you've not been down there yet, head down there after the display. And you'll notice that our sea lions, when they're pushing themselves through the water, they use those large bump flippers. And that's how they prepare themselves and they build up that speed. So that's of course because they've got large bump flippers, so that breaststroke motion really helps them out. Whereas when it comes to seals, they move much more differently. So instead of using their front flippers, they actually have to use their back. And so what they do is they wiggle their bum from side to side like a giant fish in the water. So Milan is showing you an excellent impression there. And this is exactly how a seal moves from place to place within the water. Now the far difference between seals and sea lions is actually the noise that they make. So you guys did a grand job at getting involved so far. So we're going to get you involved again. After three, I want to hear your very best seal or sea lion impression. So kids, mm -hmm. hopefully adults, we want everybody involved in this seals. one. After three, your best seal or sea lion impression. Three, three. Oh, 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 impression for the Californian sea lions. So Californian sea lions, they're the ones that make that hot and all that busking body. These are all Patagonian sea lions. They're also known as the South American sea lion. You can find them in areas such as Chile, Peru, Uruguay and also Argentina. And they don't make that honking or barking noise, they sound a bit more like this. <laughs> but it's more of like a lion-like roar and just like the people have their own voices, Oh. Who also sounds quite similar to Sydney, but of course we always leave the most ferocious in all the land. So last, we've got the land. <laughs> 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 I hope you heard that. I definitely smelled it. Um, so of course, they've all got their own different voices. That's how they communicate with one another. But they can also communicate underneath the water by blowing bubbles to one another, and they can also touch nose to nose and whisker to whisker as a way of greeting one another. Now, when it comes to seals, seals are really quiet animals. You don't hear much noise from a seal whatsoever. Now, seals and sea lions, they do have something in common, and that is the predators that they have to look out for. So we're going to play a guessing game now. I'll give you a couple of clues to let you shout it out. So this is a large fishy predator. It's got its own movie, and the theme tune goes something like... The three, shout out if you think you know what predator Sydney is trained to be. One, two, three! Shark! Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. It was a shark, not just any shark, 
but the great white shark is a very scary predator and it's not Ooh. just within the water that our sea lions have to be very cautious of these predators because they all uh, no, 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 scrap what I just said, there's a special predator out there in the wild that our sea lions need to be quite cautious of, not just in the water but also on the land. So this is also a clue for the next one if you hadn't got that already. And they also, within the water, they're a marine mammal, they're black and white in colouration, they grow to around 9 metres in length. And when they're in the water, not on the land, they can jump out of the water and they can really big splash. But like I said, I was trying to say, they can also beat some scabbers and are also a threat they with the sea lions on the land as well. So just to remind you, a marine mammal, black and white in coloration, just so I can get my head straight. <laughs> it's around 90 metres in length. What do you think it is, Quincy? If you think you know what our sea lions are, take orca. Me. One, two, three. Orca! Brilliant. It was orca. I also heard some killer whales and the same animal, so if you said those two, you were also correct. If you said dolphin, you know, put your hands, hands up if you said dolphin. Dolphin out there, you said dolphin, you're still within the because the killer whale is not actually a whale at all. It's the largest member of the dolphin family, so it's a really ultimate um, dolphin, okay. the Patagonian sea lion, uh, just as is the shark. Now, of course, seals and sea lions have got to try and escape and avoid those really scary predators, mainly within the water, not just on the land, on the land they try and run away. But within the water, they've got a few different uh, ways of getting away from these predators. So one of the behaviours is something called porpoising. So you have got huge imagination here because we're going to show you this amazing behaviour. Look, look, Brendan, look. So it's a complete natural behaviour. We have actually had to train them how to do it. All done is hand, um, as a hand signal so they know exactly Ooh. when to do this behaviour. Now porpoising is exactly this. It's jumping up and down out of the water. They can twist and they can turn as they go. Now, of course, we've got three sea lions in the water right now. If you imagine out there in the water, there'll be lots of groups of sea lions in the same area. One of them might detect a shark or an orca, and then they're all going to start porpoising at the same time. So there's three, you might have hundreds of sea lions porpoising at the exact same time. So you can see from our girls in the water right now, every time they're going in and out of the water, the amount of bubbles and the amount of confusion it's going to create. So I hope it means it's going to deter that predator as to where they are within the water. Sea lions, just like the orca, they are marine mammals they cannot breathe under the water so every time they come to the surface they're taking a really big gasp of air and hope that means they can as for as long as possible and live to see in a day but unfortunately for our sea lions sharks and orcas are not the only predators um, out there they've got to be able to survive as well so when it comes to our sea lions sometimes porpoising isn't going to work and what they can do instead is they can launch their body weight out of the water and into the air they can reach around three meters high <laughs> they won't try and land on that predator's head as they weigh in at around 100 kilos. Uh, the females can reach up to nearly 150 kilos. The male Patagonian sea lions can reach nearly 400 kilos in size. So obviously, if a predator has that lefty on their head, they're definitely going to be feeling very dazed and confused. They're going to have a giant headache and they're definitely not going to be taking up on a sea lion anymore. Now all of our sea lions here at Colchester Zoo, they're available for adoption. So if you wanted to go home today, knowing you've adopted your very own Patagonian sea lion, it can get services. So I'll give you all the information about that. But for now, from myself, Charlotte, Milan, Sydney and Atlanta, look, look, thank you very much for coming along and have a wonderful rest of your day here at Colchester Zoo. Hey. Hey.